is mad. That's all you do, competition. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of the word competition. <laughs> If you're cold, there's an extra blanket, mm. or you can turn the gas on if you wake in the night. Mm -hmm. I used to think the worst possible thing would be to be like you. But I can never be like you. I can never live so lightly. It all matters too much to me. It all matters very much to me, sweetheart. I just don't let my face show that. It's all about how you sell it. You have a suitcase and five pounds in a savings account. But? That very nice lady who sold me a cup of tea in that little hovel that you call the cafe on the corner, she doesn't know that. Well, what does it matter? Hmm? <laughs> Why do we have to be married? Or not married? Why can't we do what the hell we like? <laughs> Men can, they can sleep with women without getting a name for themselves, they can have careers. Darling, you, you have a career. You have a career. Well, I'm going to do exactly what I like and to hell with the rest of them. What? You're more like me than you know. Ladies and gentlemen, now follows a short address from the leader of the Labour Party, Mr. Come Hugh Gatesfield. Good evening. It has been a tragic, terrible week. Indeed, a tragic and terrible day. How tragic it is that we, by our criminal folly, should have lost the moral leadership of which we were once so proud. Here at home, the government policy of war with Egypt has produced terrible... Harm. Thank you, Miss Rowley. Miss Rowley, your mother's here. If it's pink, it's fish paste. I can't stay much longer. It's madness today. You should have gone to that little Italian. Oh. Did you cut your hair? Um, last month, perhaps. I don't remember. Platinum would suit you, darling. Yes. I wanted to look like a lady who works the docks. This is not coming. I've been mad getting to know what we do here. Or is checking out on us? Darling, why don't you sit here? I've got to go, Emma. Oh, five more minutes. Isn't that your editor? Producer. How old do you think she is? I don't know. She must be nearly 30. 28. Thank you. She looks just like that actress. You know, the one we saw in that thingy. Where's the Bolshevik? Out. How's the brick? Anchor. He's fine. I expect I haven't seen him in weeks. How's Bill? Clive. Didn't know. Don't care. You worry, sir. Is that her mother? Oh, God, it is. It's Verda Rowley. Oh, she left her husband. Don't stare, darling. Sorry. I'm quite back on my feet. In fact, it's really rather exciting. Where are you staying? Cynthia's. She's been marvellous. Oh, Robert's still appalling. He reminded me I had a daughter with a very nice little flat. Oh, please, God, no. Just 
try not to. Miss Rolia, I must apologise. Marnie insists yes, on... Yes, Karen Leslie. Hector doesn't agree with me, but you look just like her. The embezzler? Have you not seen it? She's terribly good. No. Hector hates it when I pop in. No, I don't know. Everyone is just so curious. This is my mother. Hello. You must be very proud. Hello. That's my baby doll. We have to go. Leave. Yes, we should go too, darling. Baby dolls? I'll be 28 in August. What? Bell? Or, or Isabel? The name that you christened me. Now I'm something you call a showgirl. The lock's broken. You have to lift the door a little and then a quick push and you're in. There are some cold chops in the refrigerator. Help yourself if you're hungry. I'll be back by nine. I won't forget this, sweetheart. Yes, you will. Ma, sorry, I am. He rang. Yes, he did. Oh, don't do that. They always telephone, darling. In the end. Right. That's right. Have you even heard the news today? Egyptian troops. Doesn't matter. Verda, World War III will break out, and you'll be so busy trying to squeeze yourself into that bloody dress, you'll miss it. Darling, please don't become one of those women who feels the need to have a career and not a life. I'd rather be that woman than waiting for a bloody phone call. Hmm. Did you not sleep well last night? It always makes you so grumpy. Last thing I want is sleep. I've woken up. Mm. You should try it, Ma. 